Hey, what's up guys? I just want to give you an update on the e-bike. I worked on it this weekend and I'll show you what I did. Oh yeah, look at that. They got the, uh, I'm eventually going to get these Ryobi batteries to work for the first revision. But yeah, let's take a look. Okay, so I got the bike and I took off the rear wheel and put on the motor wheel that came with the kit. Uh, the thing weighs a ton. But yeah, it went on fairly easy. There's like this flat portion of the axle. You'll see this like flat edge here. It's got to line up perfectly with like the slot. Plus I had to widen the frame some like by pulling on it. But eventually I got it. The wheel spins pretty, pretty square. Kit also came with a rack. And the rack has holes in it. But you can't throw like you can't fish the plug that comes out of the motor anyway I had to cut it because the plug use my chop saw yeah it worked out you can see it from like the front there. It went on pretty easy. I ended up like having to change out the direction I put the washers on there. But yeah, after the axle portion of the rack is on, then it hooks up to the seat stem adjustment screw. And that took me far longer than I expected because I didn't know what I was doing, I guess. I don't know. After I got the rack on, I tightened down the wheel. It's looking pretty good. As I was tightening it down, I started bending the rack where I like cut it, so I ended up changing the washers, like the order of them. I think I've like heard online about people not tightening their wheel down all the way, so I went pretty pretty tight, like pretty tight. Okay, so you can see the bike. There it is with the kickstand down, and it's up. And I grab wood, you know, because electricity, hot things, and wood. So I got some two by fours and some plywood. It's three eighths inch plywood. I'm gonna end up building some sort of like box-ish style thing. Make sure you have your safety gear. Always wear safety gear. I got this like full face shield on Amazon. It looks pretty cool. Works well. So you can see I got pieces of the box here going together. Got some screws and some wood. It's just like a prototype, you know? Okay, I've got the motor controller here that I'm just gonna screw directly to the wood with a bunch of little screws. It's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, and then I, I got the top here. I started lining the 3D printed clips that I had in my last video that I showed you. They can uh, hold a 18 volt Ryobi battery. I adapted the design from a thing on Thingiverse. I sh I'll show you in uh, the description. There'll be a link. After I mounted these things, I took my RotoZip non-RotoZip tool to it and just cut out holes for the battery to like poke through. Safety, safety, don't forget about safety. Look at that, the batteries clip right in. Oh, I had to adjust that. Nice. It's gonna be cool. Uh, all three batteries together, like when they're fully charged, run up uh, around 60 volts. There's another guy on YouTube who's got a video and he did this with three batteries and he's got the same kit as me and uh, he even responded to a comment of mine and said it like works great with his kit so I'm not worried about like over voltage on the controller because of that I showed these clips in my video last video too and they go over the leads and you can feed wire through them you'll see I drill out uh, larger holes but I've got 10 gauge wire sorry 12 gauge and uh, I'm just gonna put them in series here it's kind of rough like this is a rough cut yeah and I ended up connecting those after to the motor controller. But of course, I wrapped them in electrical tape because that's what I do. I'm not really planning on keeping it this way. This is just more experimental. Um, essentially, I'm going to take those laptop batteries that I showed in the last video and that'll be like a more permanent fix. But I'm just curious, you know. I realized after I put in the batteries that they run into the 2x4, so I kind of had to like cut some of the 2x4s uh, apart so that the battery top piece will stay on. I started hooking up the motor controller with wires and stuff that came with the kit. But yeah, so next I got to put on the brake levers, the thumb throttle that comes with new grips as well. 
But yeah, check it out, man. Going to have Ryobi batteries to begin with. They shouldn't last very long, and this probably could damage them if I were to put them under a lot of stress, but that'll be cool to see it go on just those. Maybe Ryobi will start making electric bikes. I don't know. Maybe. Ryobi? You listening? And then finally, uh, I sandwiched the box with like 2x4 because there was enough space uh, and some screws and also these weird metal clips that I have there as well. I found them when I had my screws and I was going through my screws. I'm like, well, these will work for that. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for now. Keep uh, tuned. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you're curious. Uh, like this video if you do or don't or something, and I'll talk to you later.